Well, uh, it's finally happened. Uh, I've been thinking about it for a while and I've been trying to do it, but I never really built up the courage to do it. Well, I sold the Mustang. Uh, the 2000 Supercharged Vortec Mustang that I used to have uh, is no longer with me. A uh, really cool gentleman came pick it up. Um, he lives about maybe 30 mi minutes away or so, and I told him he should start a YouTube channel. And so, so, you know, all you guys that are, still want to follow the car, you still can see what he uh, does with it. Um, he might be picking up uh, my spare motor that I had for the car to possibly build it and whatnot, and maybe to get that car to go even faster. I just unfortunately kind of ran out of motivation with that car. I just didn't want to keep working on it, didn't want to keep messing with it. I it eventually got to a point where I just, the car was so set up so perfectly that anything else that you could do, like any any movement in any direction, like modifying wise, you basically ruin the off, like the perfect balance that the car had. It had a perfect amount of power for everything. It had a perfect amount of like built ability like it was just a really really cool car for what it was but unfortunately for me i don't know if i just outgrew it i don't know if it's just had it too long or just spent too much money on it but unfortunately it's gone i wasn't gonna buy anything else i was just kind of probably take a break a little bit and just kind of save up money and possibly buy a house and whatnot and just kind of move on with my life but unfortunately i didn't do that i ended up picking something else up that something else is this. This is my 2015 Mustang GT 5 liter performance package. I, uh, I picked it up about two weeks ago. I'm still driving on the temp tags and uh, I already tinted the tail lights because uh, I didn't like how how bright they were from the factory. I thought it looked kind of silly. They look so much cleaner now. It's, uh, it's guard green metallic. It's got the performance pack wheels, which I'm really liking. It's got the Brembo brakes, which I'm a super fan of. Uh, I've never driven a car with a touchier brake pedal, that's for sure. As for the interior, um, I kind of went all out with this one. I really, wanted to, I really wanted a bullet one day, and I guess this is as close to a bullet as I can get. Uh, it's a premium package, so it's it's a 401A package too, so it's got the, the premium sound system and everything. And it's got the Recaro seats, which I'm a really big fan of. I've never sat in a car which hugged you as well as this one does. And inside, it's just super nice, super luxurious. I really like the uh, push-button start, which is cool. You just kind of uh, make sure your foot is on the clutch. There we go. No keys needed. Um, I really like the sink. It's kind of cool. It connects to your phone automatically and everything. The gauges are neat. That You have a vacuum gauge and an oil pressure gauge. I think that's kind of cool from the factory. The gauges I'm kind of a fan on. Uh, I really like that you have all this, uh, all this track apps and stuff going on here. Uh, I tried line lock for the first time ever the other day. And I gotta say, it was actually pretty cool. All in all, I'd say I'm pretty happy with this car, I'm not gonna lie. I've had it, like I said, for about two weeks now. And I've just been driving it around, just kind of starting to learn everything. I basically have to relearn how to drive this because this has got a hydraulic clutch rather than a cable clutch like my old car used to have. Uh, the six-speed is kind of cool. It's, it's kind of funny because I actually I for, keep forgetting that there's a six-gear, so I just keep driving around and fit. Um, everything else about the car is just really cool. The only thing I don't like is how quiet it is. I mean, you can probably kind of hear it, but I mean, compared to what I'm used to, you can barely hear the car. So I think the first modification is probably going to be maybe a cat pack exhaust or something. I was looking at maybe the MBRP ones or something like that along the lines of that. Maybe a Magnaflow. As far as tuning goes and everything of that nature, I really don't want to go too crazy with this car. I just kind of want to enjoy it and just drive it and just keep the factory warranty and just enjoy the car for what it is. It's kind of dirty today because it was literally pouring out earlier, but 
I'm pretty happy about this car. If you guys want to see more, let me know. Um, thank you.